Welcome back to Dunk Tank. We're back, baby. Today, we're talking fucking uh, Aladdin Genie. Mm -hmm. We're talking Aladdin Genie. <laughs> Twice, on, week it twice on the, the list. Same. What mm -hmm. else do we have? I don't. I think that's it. Yeah, I think well, that's. He's gonna be in the new Aladdin. Right. Did yeah. you guys hear? I did hear mm -hmm. that. I heard about that from from here, from you actually, yeah. like thirteen oh. times. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do have an announcement. First, uh, we're gonna be uploading some gameplay videos to this channel. We already did the first one last week, for yeah, anyone who was confused. They're playing some Overwatch. Mm -hmm. yeah, and they're not meant to be listened to as audio only. <laughs> Just a disclaimer, it's a gameplay video, yeah. Well, we should also like, specify, people are allowed to do that if they want, though. Yeah, but no. it, won't, it won't make as much sense. They're not allowed, they're actually not allowed to do that. Oh, yeah. well, okay. Well, I definitely I'm putting didn't the rules do that. down now. It's in the EULA. Yeah. I should have. <laughs> you watch a video, you're not allowed to do it without watching it. <laughs> you click the check the check mark and now we can sue. Yeah, we will be suing anyone who does not watch the video. Oh, okay. but I hope I'm we don't find bullets. out. <laughs> Somehow. But yeah, they're going to be on the Dunk Tank YouTube channel. And they won't be uploaded on the audio only stuff because obviously it's not for audio only. But yeah, for anyone that might have been confused, that's what's up. Now, we're going to talk about Avengers Endgame. But Wawa hasn't seen it yet. Yeah. So we're, <laughs> we're doing a spoiler free discussion. This yeah. is a, a point of great embarrassment. Avengers for Endgame. <laughs> This is, We're this doing is... this just to shame Woa, pretty much. <laughs> because that's, he has well, not seen it yet. I think that's a pretty good reason to shame him. All yes, right. we will be thoroughly discussing it, though, but with no spoilers. Well, we should probably still say, like, if you haven't seen it, like, there might be teeny little weird spoilers in this discussion still. I'm so if you're really sensitive. And go la 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 the whole time, if that's all right with everyone. <laughs> Oh, you have That'll to make for a good <laughs> You're part of the discussion. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> Hopefully it's totally spoiler free though. It was, it was really to. good. <laughs> yeah, so g general impressions first. I, I don't think it's a spoiler to say it was, it was way better than I thought it would be. I thought it was way better than Infinity War. You thought it was better than Infinity War? Come on. What? Well, what? I mean, you I think haven't seen it. Like, I, yeah, but co come on. You <laughs> can't say it's way better than Infinity War. I'm going to have to agree with Jason. Infinity War, that's like on, that's kind that of was so weird. good. It's like on the mid team. There's know? an imp whether I've seen it or not. There's like an implication you're making that's that it, it Infinity War was bad almost. No, it's not bad. It's just it's probably like eighth place. You're saying that there's room for there to be a lot better, even. Yeah. What the hell? There's like there's a lot of better Marvel. Come on, Marvel. I think they're getting a lot better towards the tail end. Yeah, I they they've had some stinkers though, like I, yeah. like. Yeah. Thor two, Thor two, yeah, Thor Iron two Man two, Iron Man yeah. three, Thor yeah. one was almost Thor one wasn't too. either. Listen, there's probably only like five good ones. I want to tell Sean something. Okay. Well, before we went to spoiler? the movie, Jason asked me who's my favorite character, and I said it was probably Thor. <laughs> well, that's fine. Thor's a <laughs> fine character. Well, His first two movies sucked wee wee though. Well. Something happens in this movie no, where don't I don't want to. <laughs> Leah was upset. <laughs> I was about... not upset. She was upset I was just with like, the Thor related uh -huh. stuff. I mean, okay. It was just funny because before we went, Jason was like, Is there any of them that you like? Or like any of the characters? We were just discussing if we actually liked any of the characters or movies. And I was like, Probably I only really like Thor. Okay. So, oh. yeah. Did you see He's a good one to pick. Yeah, that was a good Ragnarok one. was crazy good. Yeah. yeah. That one that one was awesome. Leah, what did you think of it? That's the one with Jeff Goldblum. Was that yeah. the one where his eyeball got different? Yeah. Yeah. Knocked his eye out. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a pretty good one. And oh, he has to fight the Hulk. The girl yeah. with the horse, right? The girl who rides the horse. The Valkyrie? 
Yeah. Horse? Yeah. See, I don't think I the like horse that. was actually in that though. Yeah. See, that horse is my favorite character. <laughs> there might have been a scene when they were showing her riding the horse when she was fighting those dudes though, so I mean unless you're talking about an end game. Because no. I don't know if any horse was in Endgame, Sean. But there was oh. a horse in mm. Ragnarok for a brief second, I think. Yeah, and like a flashback scene with a different Valkyrie. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember. What horse are you guys saying? We're just saying there was a flashback <laughs> scene the where all the Valkyries horse. died. A flashback horse? There was a horse in a flashback. <laughs> but one of the Valkyries was, was that... riding. Like, what? she was the she was the big one. I just remember Jeff Goldblum. He has like a DJ yeah. set. Yeah, that yeah, is definitely the most memorable thing from that yeah, movie. Yeah, that really made the movie pretty awesome, to be honest. If nothing else, that, that whole part of the movie was great. Yeah, yeah I liked that one. That's that why I think fun. I think they've been getting like progressively better. Like the old, you look at the old Marvel movies, is like Thor 1. Well. Like freaking Incredible Hulk, like all these well, low rated yeah, oh, Let's yeah. be fair, though. Forever. All those Incredible Hulks have basically been made non-canon, right? <laughs> Every one of them. Mark the... Ruffalo was not in any of those standalone Hulk movies. Strangely enough, the Edward Norton one might be... That one might be canon. The Edward Norton one, I read some weird stuff about it because Edward Norton was, like, really wanted to get involved in the whole, like... Yeah. Artistic Edward direction Norton. of it or whatever, and that's what Edward Nortoning it broke up. him up or yes, something. Yeah, but other than that, though, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I'm just saying, if we're talking original, like, Marvel movies are getting better. Like, as far as we have this Marvel Cinematic Universe, I mean, yeah, you got Iron Man, good. Thor. Iron Man 1 was pretty good. Yeah. You know? That was that's the one first of the, one. That's one of the best ones. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, Doctor Strange was pretty good, but that was definitely more recent. That's a new one. Right. That's what I'm saying. A lot of the recent ones are pretty consistent. When you go back, it's kind of hit and miss. Well, back to end game. End game. It's over. We haven't heard what Sean. Really I don't know. Heard. Maybe we could talk about uh -huh. the other movies a little more. Actually, now that I think. Now about let's it. go on <laughs> to. The no, most no, no, no. We're we're here to remember. This is punishment for know. you, Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Sean, tell us what did you think about End Game? Uh, I really, really liked it. Uh, I think I would need to rewatch. Infinity War to say which one of the two I liked better because right now in my mind they're pretty they're pretty even. You That's like it. this one more. No. Yeah. I could... <laughs> okay. I guess I like this one more then. Yeah. <laughs> Jason has only seen Infinity War one time. Oh, no, right. I just watched it. Oh, really? Um, okay. Then never it's mind. weak. That one is weak. <gasps> no, don't Star say Wars. that. Very that strong. One, the only memorable part is the ending. The thing with that one is like, I just cannot take the whole Thanos thing seriously because what is the deal? He has the glove and he can uh -huh. snap his fingers to do anything. And mm -hmm. then he wants to kill half of people instead of yep. making double resources. He can't I mean, like make a... that. Why well, not? He can snap and do could. anything. No, he can't do that. But He's, he could. Oh, listen, he has the power of reality, time. Yeah, I like you know all of these. Let's make you. more resources. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the fact of the matter is, okay. Like, what is with that? Yeah, he there's. Snap to do anything. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things he could have done. Maybe he could have just lowered the birth rate so that they didn't have this problem in the future. You know. There's he could have a, done a million different things, but the fact is, the he, fact that he's doing this, that's why he's the bad guy, though, right? Yeah. He didn't think of the other thing. Right. <laughs> but he, he always gives his big spiel. He's like, this is the only way. Everyone should be so grateful. Listen, out of the Marvel villains, at least he has some kind of goal. Like, usually their goal is right. just, I will get the fucking orb, and then I'll turn into a gigantic galaxy <laughs> man. Better. And I'll kill that's everyone. Better. Yeah, Giant that's Galaxy better. Man is better than like. <laughs> yeah, because what that was... cannot be reasoned with. What was Kurt Russell trying to do? He was like trying to turn planets into himself or something. Yeah. Well, his name was Ego. So. Right. <laughs> that's good. At least it wasn't Kurt Russell's plan. Just <laughs> total asshole. Make the whole universe Thanos. <laughs> Well, I guess that's a personal preference, but I definitely prefer those just absurd villains that don't really care about giving a reason. 
the thing that comes to my mind is there's a panel from some comic. It's Spider-Man's in it. I don't even know if it's a Spider-Man comic, but Spider-Man's talking to this pterodactyl man sitting on top of a dinosaur. And Spider-Man <laughs> asks the, the pterodactyl man, uh, you're an incredible genius scientist. You could use that to cure cancer. And the guy says, but I don't want to cure cancer. I want to turn yeah. everybody into dinosaurs. <laughs> That sounds more like yeah, a scene good. from X-Men or something, to be honest. <laughs> See, Thanos should have just said, yeah, I just want to kill everyone. Like, he should just say no, that. No, he, he doesn't wants want to. to. He, he doesn't. Admits, he's a good yeah. guy. He's well, a good. See, honestly, he yeah, he, it's not even that he admits to it, because if he did, then why wouldn't he just fucking kill all the Avengers right away? I mean, he's got like five out of six Infinity Stones for half the movie. He could have just fucking came down there and literally yeah, killed the I whole know. army. There's a lot of killed everybody. He doesn't want reason. to. Well, there's a reason why, and it's because he doesn't want to. He wants to let get the last Infinity Stone and let the fucking stones sort it out. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, that's a good that's guy. Not, that might be a little bit. Um, well, I don't want to spoil anything. Well, <laughs> okay. Well, you want to spoil stuff. It is his fault. No, 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 no. Thanos. The only good things going for Thanos is that he is like comedically large and purple. So. <laughs> well, that is He's a lot. Like he wasn't that's, like telling to you at all. He was just. He was just no. really big and purple. No. That was. The, yeah. Okay. That fact that he was big and purple was entertaining. <laughs> that was good. I liked when he fought the Hulk. That was that was a pretty good part from Infinity War. Where he just has a fist yeah. fight with the Hulk. Yeah, and oh, kicks his ass, ass completely. He whooped the Hulk's ass in one second. I believe that was right after he got the Power Stone too. Correct? Yeah. So that kind of explains. It's like it. right in the opening of the movie. Because I mean, honestly, the Hulk is kind of like BS as far as people go. And like, for if he was just, oh, I'm a big purple titan from my planet of titans or whatever and he was beating up the hulk that might not make too much sense to me or anyone else i think you know he's awesome right but the hulk is like strong enough to hold the planet together or something <laughs> you know what i mean is he yeah, yeah. Wow. the hulk's power like scales with his rage i don't even know if there's an upper bound <laughs> okay the more mad the hulk this... gets the stronger he is he could do what <laughs> literally anything he could probably jump from earth to fucking thanos planet Whoa. What if Hulk got the hand and he did something worse? <laughs> worse. Like, like whole, the whole universe just smashes immediately. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? Hulk, what do you want to do with this infinity gauntlet? Rah! Smash! <laughs> Everybody dies <laughs> right away. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to... How to say something about this without ruining it all. Say it. Listen, I'll just close no, my just ears. Say it. Everyone I'll else say can this. close their ears for 30 it was, seconds. It was not structured in the way that Infinity War was at all. It was not like... It was way different from that. It was really not... I wasn't expecting it to go how it did go. I thought yeah. it would be just kind of more of the same Infinity War. Oh, yeah, we got to... Like it's kind of Infinity War is kind of like that Lord of the Rings style movie making where you go from one character to another set of characters to another set and they're all all this it was stuff. It's kind of like that. Like lots of it was like that though. Yeah, and then it all builds towards like a moment where they all finally reunite. Yeah. And what do you say compared like that in Infinity War to this then? Endgame. Endgame was just this. It's pretty unique for a Marvel movie. What they do. Wasn't right, well, perfect or nothing. No, but it was entertaining for sure. I think, yeah, I, I would say it's one of the better ones. Well, I'll yeah, definitely, definitely have seen it by it. next week, and then we can definitely. Well, like, if you haven't seen it next week, well, uh, you're gonna get a earful <laughs> of spoilers. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'll deserve it even more then. You deserve it right now, but we are <laughs> yeah. kind and benevolent. Remember yeah, when it was like coming out that night, and I'm like, "You guys gonna go see it?" And yes, I yeah, I do remember yet. that. <laughs> we do. Yeah, well. <laughs> Listen, there was a pre-release, okay, of Magic, and there was a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> what the heck it was Magic all week? You know, oh, there was no stinger at the end of Endgame, Leo. I was like, babe, there's no stinger. <laughs> 
<laughs> and she didn't she believe you? Listen. We, we sat there for a while, and then she was on the phone for, like, the whole credits, and then she was like, oh, there's no, there's no, you just hear a Iron Man hit a hammer sound effect. Oh, there, you spoiled the ending you for Wolverine. You spoiled Wolf. it! You <laughs> freaking spoiled the Iron Man hitting a hammer. Sorry, noise. sorry for the good sting. <laughs> oh, great. It's ruined. The hammer noise. You don't even see anything, it's just the sound. Yeah, they play a sound. Well, we were sitting, we were sitting for like a whole part of credits and then the second part of credits started and then I just googled is there a stinger and then it said that so then I said okay let's go so we didn't stay we did not hear the sound wow so you missed out <laughs> yeah. we missed the big moment we really did damn guys was it like this Ching. no it was more like a, it was more like a clank I just want to know if there was no visual. How does anybody know Iron Man was the one? Oh, you know it was Iron Man. <laughs> good question. That's a really good question. From the, from the reverberations of the metal, you get the. Well, yeah. I mean that part. Did he go? Obvious, but... Did he go? Bing! I am Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that really gave it away was the, that you could hear the way that it was echoing. You knew that it was in a cave with a box of scraps. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's enough of that movie for this week. All right. Well, what? There's more? There's more. Okay. Well, we, I was going to say so we can have more. another discussion when Woa has seen it. No. That is true. A more, a more um, specific discussion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say this. Okay. So. If they never make another one again, that's good. This They're is the, gonna. Uh, this is the good ending, though. I feel like they can't top this ending. This is Avengers all just five is scheduled for next year. Everything they've been setting up in the whole thing is all pays off in this one, and there's really there's no reason to keep it going. It's all yeah, well, this is I, like the best ending they could have possibly done. It's, wow, it's, that's it's really pretty good. Okay, I think there's a couple of threads in there. Which you're like, I kind of want to see what's going to happen, like with the yeah, there are the definitely some the end. loose, some loose ends. But yeah, there are, but who cares? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but you just said this is the best ending possible. Yeah, it is. Ever. It really was a like, it was a powerful wow. ending. I wasn't expecting it to was be. It? I thought oh. they would just fucking. One. I thought they would just go and fight Thanos, and that was like okay. Okay. Well, wow, now let's do the true up. test. Let's do the true, true test. Sean, did you cry? Did I cry? Did you cry? He cried. Uh, Be honest. At any cried. point, did you Thanos. cry? If I cried, it was because I nearly peed my pants because it was three hours long and I got a soda. <laughs> okay. That was not smart. <laughs> well, I did not cry, and I will cry at a lot of movies, so. You no. didn't cry? Just saying, I didn't cry. No, I didn't cry at all. You don't cry. Well, Leah cried at G-Force. What? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, I really... Leah, I don't think that's a measurement of the quality of the movie at all. <laughs> I was just curious if it made you emotional, Sean. I felt emotions, absolutely, yes. Okay, well, Jason, I, I don't I think though. you cried, did you? I don't think you were crying. No. Okay. Maybe towards the, maybe at the very end. You at, did. Maybe at, well, I didn't cry, but it was the uh, very, very final moment was pretty, pretty okay. crazy. There, there was a bit where I did get a little choked up, mm. which was near the beginning. But yeah. other than that, I didn't. Well, I guess close. men just get more emotional over superheroes. I just didn't feel yeah. anything for it, really. What? But the G Force. Oh right. That was, that was no, literally not even a, It was just oh a my God, it's it was not, so It wasn't even a sad scene It was just oh, a was. goofy <laughs> It was just a goofy scene where a kid Like freaking puts a snake in the guinea pig cage And they start running around It's like supposed to be like a, a Funny slapstick scene Where the kids are running around from a snake And they go whoa Oh my god <laughs> Leah started crying Because the, the pigs out. are in danger <laughs> Well, first of all, they had hamsters in the same cage with guinea pigs. They're 3D! Pigs. The hamsters were living <laughs> in the same cage as guinea pigs. Well, that alone, of course, is enough God. to break tears. I'm crying again. Uh, yeah, I'm going to cry again. 
And they were like in a pet store and they were like, oh, I've been in this store for five years. No kid wants me. <laughs> and then some kid came in and freaking picks the guinea pig up and he's like, oh, someone wants me. And then the kid chucks him. He chucks him into the snake enclosure. And the snake is like, I'm gonna eat the guinea pig. It's so sad. It was pretty fucked up. Oh my god. <laughs> Sounds this like he was a... doing the guinea pig a favor at that point. No, that is the saddest <laughs> thing ever. Well, if the guinea pig is five years old, he's pretty much on his on his last legs anyway. Well, okay, but... five years was exaggeration, but the idea was he was there for a long time. He just wanted to be adopted, and the kid tricked him. And then and when the guy turned around, he freaking chucked pit. him into the snake pit. And he's like, okay. <laughs> you stupid guinea pig. <laughs> This is for kids? <laughs> That's every bad kids movie, just like the super dark tonal shift out of nowhere. Like <laughs> fucking Howard the Duck. He fucking kills a guy with electricity. I don't think I ever... S no, I definitely never saw that one. Howard the Duck? Where the yeah, duck's I'm... boobs are in it? It's yeah, for kids? It. Never the seen it. The duck has duck, duck playboy? Specifically avoided is that Howard for kids? the Duck. Are you sure about that? That's every bad kids movie that's <laughs> supposed to be for kids just has super inappropriate shit. Yeah. Like G-Force. Like throwing a guinea pig into a snake cage. They were making weird jokes in G-Force too. There was like a sexy guinea pig. <laughs> yeah, there was a sexy <laughs> guinea pig. She was like, you can't, you can't get with me. They're trying to make it so that adults can come see G Four Steel. Ah, yes, I can relate to this. Ah, sexy yes, a sexy guinea pig. That's what I came here for. I'm so this glad I brought my children my, now. Me and my kids can enjoy. It. I don't fuck. I don't fuck guinea pigs like you. I don't fuck you. Yeah, that is a good movie for my kids. Oh, man. Look, man, they're just trying to make it so that the kids can come see the guinea pigs, the adults can unzip their pants, you know, in the middle of the movie. <laughs> Ew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They'll sit at the back of the movie theater. Right, of course. <laughs> That's just polite. Uh, yeah, because they don't want to cry in front of their kids. <laughs> Nobody cried at you. Too sad. Too <laughs> sad. Well, we don't know. We turned the movie off halfway because Leah got. I couldn't handle it. <laughs> turn it off. Leah I couldn't handle it. Sensitive. I couldn't. We had to stop watching. Well, she made us watch it too. I didn't. I was like, no, I don't want to watch oh G Force God. ever. She was like, no, we gotta watch it. And then she started crying and turned it off. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, yeah, she... maybe we should give context. I'm not always that much of a was. No. Just when you're watching G Force, <laughs> of all things. Well, me and Jason had two pet guinea pigs that were very special and dear and beloved, and one of them, only one I think at that point, had just died, and it was a very long and a very sad time that she was sick, and we were like going to the vet every week and like trying to nurse her back to health, but it didn't work, and then she passed away, and it was really sad. So I thought the guinea pig movie would be really cute. It was the <laughs> worst oh, no. movie ever made. <laughs> so that's what happened. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You bet on G Force, you lose every time. I could definitely <laughs> see wanting to watch that movie to like try to disassociate like guinea pigs and positive thoughts in your brain so that you're like less sad, I guess. <laughs> I watched this movie and I hate guinea pigs now. Wow, yeah. thanks. <laughs> thanks That's a load off my mind. <laughs> the G-Force game, however, was uh, unexpectedly good. All right. They really spent it a lot was. of money on the G-Force. High budget. I don't even think there was might a be, I'm being game. pranked, right? I'm this not going to acknowledge it. No, they, they, they put like fancy cutscenes. There's like big enemy variety. Like the sprinting from Gears of War. It's like, I don't know. The game, the game was better than the movie. You're kidding me. No. It's so true. Even the plot, it's like the same plot, but in the game it works way better. Okay, the video game has a Metacritic score of about 
like 70. Okay. Well, the game doesn't make you cry. Yeah, we're not saying it's an, like a masterpiece, amazing game everyone must play, but. <laughs> well, right. I'm just it trying was to. It's surprisingly I'm, good. I'm trying to compare that to the movie here. Well, the film itself apparently is about a 40 on Metacritic. See? So that is surprisingly good. If you turn into film into a video game, 40 to 70 is a pretty big jump. Yeah, see? Jason knows what he's talking about. That's one of the best games. G-Force. All right. It's one of the best guinea pig games out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, if okay. not the best. I could see that. Probably the best guinea pig-based game that anybody that has. Is, oh, no, better than Bad anyone. Rats. A new one's coming to top of it. It's called Guinea Pig Parkour. <laughs> what? What? Is that it's real? been in development forever. Yes, it's real. I've been following it forever. <laughs> did, did you buy into the Kickstarter? I would if there was one. <laughs> Guinea pig parkour. This yeah, it's real. Yeah, you're not kidding. The me. animation is cool, so. How does it stack up to Mario Odyssey? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, it's a 2D platformer, and I don't think there's actual gameplay yet. <laughs> How does it stack up to Donkey know? Kong? <laughs> I mean, I would say it's like Aladdin. That, that Aladdin game that we are playing. Oh, it really is. Yeah, I'm, I can see the gameplay right now. That's what mm. they're. It looks exactly like. He even does the little swingy thing off of. He yep, like grabs a he hook does and the swinging. It's like Aladdin. So. Finally, it should be fun. Finally, getting the successor to the Aladdin game in the form of a guinea pig game. Yeah, <laughs> I actually saw there's a guinea pig super monkey ball coming out too. <gasps> what? Super yes. guinea oh my pig God. ball. Now that I'm interested in. Although it is actually, you're not supposed to put them in balls because of the way their spine works. So now yeah, I'm not interested. Very okay. true, Sean. True, Sean. <laughs> Thank you. It's a video game. It's a video game built on the backs of guinea pig spines. <gasps> Listen. Am I going to have to cry again? <laughs> <laughs> okay, please no. Please don't cry at guinea pig monkey ball. <laughs> <laughs> the ball falls off the level. This. She starts crying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, enough about guinea pigs. On to the big, the big animal of the yep. day. Hedgehog. Mm. Boom. Ugh. The hedgehog. Guys... <laughs> All right, well, I got to say, I watched the Sonic trailer, and I was literally revolted. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're alone. It was the worst thing I've ever seen. I mean, you know what? The worst part about it. Uh, well, for one, I was kind of shocked by the whole, like, it felt like half of the trailer was just Jim Carrey doing that yeah. one yeah, scene. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Yeah, but it was like, it was like. Jim to carry the movie. Right, but it was, there was no pretense about it at all. They were just like, here, here's a whole scene from the movie. Watch this with a real person in it. That's all you know what I mean? So far. And then they yeah. go to this other thing. <laughs> film. They're just going to improvise the rest. <laughs> I think that the most standout part of the trailer that really said that they didn't know what the fuck was going on and possibly that they didn't even know what Sonic was or a hedgehog, in fact, was when Sonic was found in the house and he went, meow. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, come on. That was him being a snarky. Yeah, a but was it? He was trying to. With it's like, trying to. It's a funny joke. He's. I'm, I'm not a cat, obviously, but I'm making a cat noise. Are well, you fooled? No, Isn't it I hilarious. Don't. It works better when Woa did it. Yeah, it does. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Do they realize that he doesn't at all look like a hedgehog? And they said, "Hey, maybe he passes as a cat. I don't know." <laughs> I mean, where's no. where does this joke end? I don't know. It's crazy. It's a good. It's a, it has layers to the joke. Yeah, <laughs> layers. Oh man, this this shit is gonna be the worst. Oh fucking. my god! It's just well, that's, that's the just that's the tip of the iceberg. That fucking design on Sonic. That's just that's besides the point. Just like yeah. every line of dialogue is the fucking so shittiest, terrible. most cliche, oh, horrible fucking right. G Force fucking jokes. Like I'm pretty sure the G Force writer was got in on this. Fucking, <laughs> there's gonna be like a sexy hedgehog. You can't get with uh, me, Sonic. Come on, don't I'm say a that sex to me. hedgehog. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, what can you really expect? You can't expect like a really, really good movie from what? with can't Sonic. You just, with you Sonic just, in it, you could just expect it to 
not be the fucking just offensively bad. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, like, come on. <laughs> but what Jesus. can you do? What plot can you have with Sonic in it that's not just going to be goofy and ridiculous? If you gave us two hours, we could brainstorm a better movie right here. Yeah. In two Possibly. hours. That About seems, two very, hours. That seems I, very confident to I say. I will say that it does seem like it might be a little bit of a challenge, you know, with it Sonic. Does. Like, what it, what is the plot of Sonic? Does he save Who cares? The world? But yeah, I mean, he saves the world, apparently. Well, I, I, I saw he that fights, too. Which, he fights by the way, Carey. By the way, Sonic's like, I'm here to save your world. Like, what, Sonic, you're not from this world and you know this? And why are you here then? Like, where did you yeah, get this idea from? He's from the Green Hill Zone. I don't know. So, I mean, to be <laughs> honest, you know, coming up with a plot point, maybe it might be hard to, you know, come up with a thing yeah, for Sonic. But I, I still really do agree. To come up with something. No. I, I still agree. I think that if we were to sit here for two hours, we could probably come up with something <laughs> better than what they have right now. I don't know. Uh, yep, that absolutely. seems pretty cocky to me, but maybe. I don't know. But it's. They're gonna fix it. Did you guys see the tweet? Oh, Did they're I, not gonna. Uh, yeah. They're the gonna fix it. Hashtag. Don't worry, Did you guys. See the hashtag? hashtag. Hashtag. Fix it gotta, fast. Yeah, gotta fix it fast. Gotta fix it fast. Comes out in three months. <laughs> We're gonna <laughs> fix the whole the movie. We're in, <laughs> We're in post production. <laughs> All right. The, the hedgehog. Hashtag. Gotta fix it fast. Gotta, we gotta reanimate the entire hedgehog every scene. <laughs> gotta. Uh, probably, oh my god. Let me just summon thousands a whole of dollars new script. worth of salary. Yep. Seriously. New script. We're going to find a new Jim Carrey. <laughs> it's going to be so much work. I bet. It's going to be. Gonna they be have to animate the entire scene, the entire movie over again, with every scene with sound. I mean, but what if, what if they just oh, fixed man. his eyeballs? You Those know what I mean? Those poor people. Even if they just fix his eyeballs, that's probably such a fucking... Well, such the main complaint crunch. is his mouth and his body. His freaking little skinny man yeah, body. Yeah, he's got weird, like, yeah, human that's true. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is true. I mean, like, the eyes are pretty fucked up, but the fact that literally everything is fucked up on him, too, is not helping him. <laughs> <laughs> he's like some kind of horrible, hideous mutant. Maybe they'll just delete the parts that don't work, and he'll just be like a floating shoes. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh Sonic the God. Ghost. <laughs> Yeah, they'll just work that into the story. Yeah. Oh no! I turned into a ghost. <laughs> oh man! Hey guys, I'm going so fast you can't even see me right now, except for my <laughs> shoes. My shoes are going at regular speed. <laughs> <sighs> so much going on there. There's no chili dogs in the trailer. They really missed out. Yeah, no chili dogs. No um. What are the odds that Sonic? actually goes to Sonic in this new movie. Oh, that would be good. I that's, think it's pretty that's, high. That's a little that's too clever for this movie, I think. I think you'll go to Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Hi, can I get a uh, uh your Mexican pizza please? <laughs> <laughs> you'll say, "I'm Sonic. I like fast food." Get it, guys? <laughs> He'll I look like directly at the camera. I like to go coming. fast. I like my food fast. Let's go to Sonic and get a Sonic chili dog. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a great movie. That's gonna be that's gonna be awful. It's, that's like the it's like the crossover of the two worst things: <clears throat> video game movies and Sonic. It's like oh. the two most consistently. <laughs> The two most consistently bad things collide. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Enough about Sonic. All they really need to know is that they got a hashtag, gotta fix it fast. Gotta <laughs> fix it fast. <laughs> Let's try Burger King. What was the Burger King news? All right. Well, Burger King has, uh, in I guess in competition with the Happy Meal and also in... Apparently, you know, solidarity with Mental Health Month or whatever this month is. They oh, are yeah, releasing Angry Meals. They've got... <laughs> <laughs> it's not specifically called Angry Meals. Uh, what? But, yeah. Why not? Huh? What is it called? It, they've got a pissed meal. What? No, yep. they pissed? don't. Legitimately, pissed it's called meal? the, no, the pissed, pissed Meal. Pissed oh meal. God, no. They've got a couple of them. No, they've got the pissed meal. Oh, no. This shit is they've, getting crazy. 
they've got the blue meal. I guess they didn't want to call call their food sad because you know that has an own, sad, its own sad the depressing meal. Yeah, the, the depressed meal. Yeah, they didn't want to do that for obvious reasons. You'd go and say, "I don't want a sad meal. Depression meal. I want a meal that looks good." I want you know, the depression meal. Sad is not a food descriptor meal. you want. I but want yeah, a so blue you, burger. So you could get the blue meal. You could get the pissed meal. You could get the, uh, the s- there's a yes meal. What? Yep. What does that mean? If, you know, you know how oh, people like to say that. Yeah, like, yeah. Like Y-A-A-A-S. Oh, like, like yes. Oh, yeah, oh like yes. God, that's the yeah. worst. They've got Dang. that. This no, it's worst. not even the end. They've got the salty meal. Ooh, no, I thought that was every meal. meal. That right. one's acceptable, oh. but still yeah, stupid. Salty meal, but here's the worst one. They've got the DGAF meal, or don't give a fuck. What? Yeah. Whoa, Burger edgy. King is getting crazy. No, could you imagine going into Burger King and like in front of? Give other me the people? don't give a one fuck meal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. I pissed on it. There's like Here a kid. Go. There's like a seven year old kid and his mom behind you in line. <laughs> I fucking, <laughs> I fucking pissed on the bird. I don't give a fuck. Here you go, man. Everyone don't give a fuck meal, dude. You don't even right. got to pay for it. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> think God. About it. If you're going to order the don't give a fuck meal, you obviously literally must not give a fuck already. Because no. no. how are you, how are you going to order? You're going to go up in front of like some other people and be like, yo, can I get that uh, don't give a fuck meal, though? <laughs> Wait, yeah, wait, 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 wait. So these meals, <laughs> these meals, there's, is there different food in all of them? Like, no, I think it's just a Whopper meal or something, but. What? Yeah. It's all the same, so you can just say whatever you want, and they're going to give you the same food? Right, yeah. I mean, it's like if you want to, <laughs> if you really want to represent your mood to everybody out in the waiting room of Burger what? King, I guess. Do you at least yeah. get a different box? Yeah, you get a yeah, don't yeah. give a fuck Boxes box. Like all okay. Color coded, oh, okay, so people okay. are gonna no, know. That's something. Yeah, I see. After I go and play, you know, my Friday night magic or whatever, I can go get an angry meal for myself, and then all my friends can get the salty meal because they got their meal. ass whooped. Yeah. That's pretty good. You know what? They just stole this whole thing from Snickers. Yeah. You know those Snickers bars? Snickers they just has the little this... stuff on the yeah. Snickers. They say those words on the on the Snickers bar. You I just get the Snickers them. bar. This is taking it to a to another place, because now they're like, I don't give a fuck burger. Yeah, I don't give a fuck <laughs> burger. Give me that burger that's been sitting there all day, <laughs> all tied up. Give me that one. I don't give a shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Well, apparently it's not at every Burger King everywhere. It's only at select Burger Kings. What? what? Come on, Burger King. Now I'm getting a pissed meal. All right. No, you're not. That's it. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're literally not getting a pissed meal. But, uh, so what's this mystery question? I'm scared. Mystery question. Jason, do a theme song for it. <laughs> Whoa. Now I'm extra scared. Okay, well, the mystery question of this week is, did you make a stupid lie when you were a kid? What's a dumb lie that you would tell? Because I feel like everyone told dumb lies when they were kids. Not me. What? Never. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, Lola. Nope. Every kid tells stupid lies. Never told any they dumb lies. They make up lies. something dumb. They go, yeah, I got holographic Charizard. I just nope. can't bring it to school. Never did that. <laughs> okay, that I never did. I knew a lot of those kids, but I definitely <laughs> never said I own holographic Charizard. <laughs> I can't bring it to school. I can't bring it to school. It's like, here's an example. A girl that I used to babysit, she was really adorable and sweet. Like... She was just a kid, so this is why she did this. She, like the other girl I babysat, played violin. So this girl was like, I guess she might have been jealous about it or she just wanted to, you know, be the same because kids always want to be the same. She said she played violin too, but her violin was secret and it was kept in the basement. And no one could go in the basement to see the violin. That's true. (laughs) It's a secret basement violin. (laughs) 
<laughs> and she <laughs> stuck violin. to it. Even though people would press her on it, she would not crack. She was like, yeah, it's down there. It's in the basement. <laughs> My violin You got too there. caught up in the lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got a concert coming up. <laughs> you can't come. <laughs> Nobody can come. <laughs> yeah. That violin's evil. It eats people, except for me. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. I'm trying to Who think wants of to one? start? I can start. I already I'm thinking too. Well, you, I know one about Leah. Yeah. Where you're a werewolf. Babe! <laughs> How are you going to spoil one? <laughs> Let me hear this werewolf story first. Yeah, let's start with that. All right. Okay, well, I guess in beginning in third grade and it continued on into fourth and maybe a little of this. Me and my best friend pretended that we were werewolves and we would <laughs> tell everyone at school that we were werewolves. And we just went really far with it and we would know when the full moon was. <laughs> like, one of our friends trying to bust us and be like, well, if you're a werewolf, then when is the full moon? And then we were like weird and we had like memorized when it was. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> full commitment. It was full commitment. We had memorized. It was, we would be like, oh, it's on October 17th. Damn. And then would you make fun of her? No, we would just be like, yeah, we're really werewolves. Like, what? Of course. I know it's October 17th. <laughs> what more proof do you need? <laughs> we also had special powers of being psychic. Okay. Mm, psychic. Uh, of course, werewolves. The time. <laughs> That's obviously. Well, me and my friend did. We were psychic. And, psychic and <laughs> it was very elaborate, okay? Me and her spent a long time at memorizing. Like, we would twitch our faces at each other. Like, we would do, like, a left eye twitch means this word. Like, we would memorize, like, 20 <laughs> words or something. So that we would tell people. We'd be like, okay, pick one of these words, and then we'll psychically tell it to the other one of us. <laughs> And you would start scratching your no, nose. No, it was very and Twitching subtle. your eyes. <laughs> like a well, big it's werewolf. Subtle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she thought of the word orange. <laughs> Listen, it was very impressive, I think. We went to great lengths. Third graders, probably. Third and fourth. Yeah. And the, okay, the dumbest one was on the playground. There was a sign that said no dogs allowed. And we said it was discrimination. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, that was my big stupid lie. That That is incredible. I definitely don't have anything that even approaches no, that level. Not at all. What the heck? Not well, for even me, close. For me, it was, I tried to pretend I was a psychic werewolf. <laughs> well, I can see it's probably wow. like a, most people go through that phase, but me and I feel, yeah, I feel like I missed out on a phase of my life. Yeah. Wow, you guys had no imagination. After that, I was a witch. Right. What? Like, and, and Leah, what are you today? That's what I want to know. Listen, now <laughs> I've owned up to the fact that I'm just a normal human. Right. Sometimes we were gnomes, though. I like to pretend to be what? gnomes. How wow. can you be a gnome? <laughs> I just want to know. Try to shrink ourselves. Where do you even get a friend that goes along with this? <laughs> this is incredible. Like, if I said this to another human being, they'd be like, right, dude. In all right. third grade? At third, third grade, grade yeah. they'd probably be like, all right, so I'm going to go talk to Jim now. This is easily <laughs> explained with we just cool kids are stupid. Jim is one of the You cool were the cool kids? kids? Yeah. Are you sure about that? Yeah, we were. The we kids are pretending to be werewolves were the cool kids. <laughs> Think about it. Usually that it works. Yeah, well, we were awesome. That's all I have to say. Well, it does sound like you were awesome, but it also sounds like there were some rose-tinted goggles. <laughs> yeah, well, obviously it was incredibly stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I but do it was know. a lot of fun. I'm thinking back now to an old trick where mm -hmm. I, where I, somebody, maybe it was me or another kid where they said they were psychic. And they would do <gasps> this trick where you have this little cup full of like a liquid and you push it and it pushes, you know, like if you push the cup and then the liquid from the cup like makes it push again. Yeah. It's like a trick. And he's oh, like, okay. Yeah. Like Check a physics this. thing. Mm. I'm psychic. <laughs> that was the whole trick? It's better than a werewolf trick. 
Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought it was real. Ours was well rehearsed. I mean, it sounds like this kid probably had to rehearse that trick too. Pushing I think, was, <laughs> I yeah. think he really was psychic. Yeah. Well, oh, I don't know if he really had to rehearse the trick. To be honest, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you just pushed a cup. I don't know. I've never pushed a cup of water before, so maybe that would spill over if I pushed it too hard. That's true. Kids would always be making up shit in my school. I definitely don't remember me doing any of that yeah, myself. Yeah, I can't. I, I do remember. remember other kids lying to me about stuff just for no particular reason that I could. <laughs> like, I, I, don't have a, I don't have a lie that I told when I what was a child, but... I can remember that there was one that was told to me. Uh, Sonic Adventure had just come out, like, pretty recently for the Dreamcast. It was in some kind of summer camp. I can't even remember where the hell I was. Uh, and this kid was telling me about how he, like, unlocked, like, Super Tails and, like, Super Big the super Cat. Super Tails. <laughs> like Super Sonic. Yeah, exactly. Super right. Big uh, the Cat. His fishing uh, rod goes way... Fast. <laughs> yeah, his his fishing rod is invulnerable. It can't break. You had to like you had to like talk to like a newspaper lady and press the buttons in the certain order or something. I can't even remember what it was. It was so stupid. But me yeah, being that's... like ten at the time, I of course believed it. That's right. Really... And I, I mean, of course, they also did the the Pokemon with the Mew and the fucking SS Annie thing or whatever. Those are some things people always tell you about when you were a kid, you know? Yeah, that was big, although I never heard that one myself. I know, and uh, this this does, this is going back to Yu-Gi-Oh. There was a dude, he was <laughs> like the 30-year-old dude, and he had this Japanese card, and I don't even know if he knew, he probably didn't even read Japanese, he just made up the rules of what the card did, and he just used that right. as a deck. He was like, yeah, yeah, got this card, good. Sorry. I can take, I can fucking delete your whole deck. You lost. Yeah, I just own your cards now. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's not sad. like the... What a sad, sad man. The long-term undercover lie, though. That's just a man who's a cheater. <laughs> <laughs> right? That is so sad. That was a good card. <laughs> yep. So, is that it? Is that it for the today? I guess so. Yeah. yeah. And goodbye. Ah, uh, bye bye.